Delaware Valley's leading news program with Matt Talman, meteorologist Karen Rogers, Tamela Edwards, and Matt O'Donnell. Traffic and AccuWeather together at 6 a.m. I normally like it when my plate is full. Oh, yes, but not I know this you do. way. It is a mess on the road. You don't roads want this a morning. traffic full plate. Buffet? No, no, thank you. No, no, no. I'm with you on this one, Matt. That's right. We've got a lot of problems with this coastal storm residual effects. It's not that it's raining at this point very hard. I mean, we've got a couple of showers out there. The trouble is all the residual impacts from the heavy rain that we had and the flooding that we've had. So let's look at Storm Tracker. We can see mostly dry near the city. We're watching the showers, kind of the last showers that are almost pulling through Wilmington in Redding right now, and you're even seeing a couple of wet snowflakes trying to reach ground with it. Temperatures in the upper 30s, but still a sign of the cold air that's out there. The flood warnings that are continuing are for your area creeks and streams that are running high. They are all minor flooding, but flooding nonetheless this morning. The Brandywine Creek, Neshaminy Creek, Wissahickon Creek, these are the main concerns, Perkyoman Creek and Crumb Creek. So those are the areas where you're seeing the water water rise. You'll still have some street closures and issues with that, even though it's not raining hard right now, just a couple of sprinkles around. So we'll have a few sprinkles even at maybe eight o'clock this morning. Beyond that, we're dry with some sunshine returning. The winds are a big issue all through the day, gusting up to 35 miles an hour. And look at these temperatures, low 50s. That's all you get. And you factor in the wind, it's going to feel chilly. Maybe a sprinkle around this afternoon. It's a great day, isn't it, Matt? Uh, it does get better tomorrow. Quite the party. One yeah. of our many problems overnight, Karen, was a big truck accident along 95 between Cotman and Academy. They're trying to get it cleared out here right now, but having to make some repairs to the median barrier. So still have some lanes blocked. Traffic still heavy here both ways. However, at least you're getting by now in both directions along 95 in the Great Northeast. Schuylkill Expressway, there's a car that won't get by at all. It's disabled, won't run here on the eastbound side on the University Avenue Bridge. So the right lane is blocked. It's jammed coming east of South Street heading toward Passyunk Avenue. At least in Delaware, our crash on 495 northbound here at the Christina River Bridge is gone. Traffic's moving better. But heading toward Delaware out of South Jersey, we still have this major truck accident. Southbound side of the turnpike approaching the Delaware Memorial Bridge tolls. At exit one, several of the toll lanes are blocked here as the cleanup continues. Jersey Turnpike southbound of Mount Laurel. There's a crash approaching exit four. That's on the shoulder. At least our wreck on northbound 295 by 42 is gone, but the Brooklawn Circle is still underwater. Flooding continues there in that part of Camden and Gloucester counties, and they're still flooding down the shore. Chunks of the White Horse Pike and Black Horse Pike remain blocked early on this Tuesday morning. Matt, thank you. All right, thank you, Karen. Of course, we're going to keep the fun going with both headlines with the rush and a little something lighter with brighter news coming Sounds up at like 730. Yeah. I think you should join me. I think you might you might like it. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, <laughs> all right. And that's it. That's your Tuesday. We'll see you on Wednesday. Action News is sponsored by Hutchinson, the heating, cooling, and plumbing experts. Same-day service guaranteed, or it's free.